I want you to listen to this. Either your past trauma will drive you or drive you crazy. I want to talk to you a little bit from a teaching perspective here. I just got off the phone with my best friend, a guy I've been knowing for over 20 years, and he reminded me of a story, so I thought I'd tell it to you. We were in Jordan studying Arabic. And in between Arabic classes, we went out to play a little ball, had a little crowd out there, all the Jordanians. And I got home on the rim and he said, oh my God, if I was tall as you, I'd be dunking, I'd be in a dunk contest. Well, he was playing and that's how guys play sometimes. The trauma was set off in my mind from the times that I was teased as a young boy being taller than everybody else. And they used to say, Michael, you big for nothing. All of them were 6'2", six 6'3", six but they were a little two or three years older than me. So that was traumatic for me. So when he said that, me and him just laughed on the phone. Because after he said that, I put on a dunk show for the Jordanians. As a matter of fact, I was dunking so hard and dunking so wildly, I was hollering out Quranic scriptures in Arabic to the Arabs. What's my point to this? Before I go on a tangent, you can either let your trauma drive you or you can let it drive you crazy. When I was a young boy, it sent me into a little depression because I didn't know why these guys were teasing me. I didn't know why they were mocking me. My motor skills hadn't caught up to my body yet. <sighs> but they took the time to belittle me. People say hazing is a, a process. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that or not. But anyway, I decided, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be better than all those guys. So after basketball practice, or late at night, I used to sneak out of the house and go run the bridge, go run miles to get myself stronger, to make myself better. <sighs> Happening for me, I moved to New Orleans. I moved to New Orleans, and by the time I came back, I was a beast without question. I was so good at basketball, they called me prime time. Yeah, so anyway, my point to you is, you can take your past trauma and either let you let it drive you into depression or drive you to be great. People see me here on this treadmill two times a day. They say, that boy, a little crazy. Well, maybe I am because I'm fighting against that past trauma every time somebody dismisses me. Every time somebody don't give me my respect for working hard. I'm fighting that past trauma of not thinking that I was good enough, that I could be great. Now, I'm being mediocre. I want you to hear me. I'm in here fighting these demons every day. I'm not sitting on the couch wondering why people are talking about me. So I hear every time somebody slight me. I have a keen ear for it. I hear when every, every time somebody dismisses me. Oh, I'm looking for it. But what I won't do, and send myself and let my trauma be a depressive state for me where I can't recover. The power of choice is a powerful thing. And I choose to be great. I choose to get out all of my potential. I choose to be the best person I can be. And I let the haters hate. I let the talkers talk. And I let them sit down and wonder what drives me. I want you to hear me as I conclude. You can let your past trauma send you into depressive state or let your past trauma elevate you to greatness. It has elevated me to greatness. I have done more than most people do in two lifetimes. I'm young, I'm pretty, and I can't possibly be beat. I must be the greatest. Woo! Mm. Goat behavior.